ready for this? Hopefully ESPN alerts always. All right, Reese, thanks very much. Again, a wide receiver hitch, and again, positive yardage. Jerron Fairman picks up seven after Paul Williams picked up 17. As now, and that is control the clock and control the football. A 7-0 lead, and they have been deadly on third down. And once again, up the seam goes Jerron Fairman. That's another first down. Now, last year in Division I, well, how about that throw by Brent? The two points. Third down and seven. Pivotal play on the drive. Here comes the blitz. Brand Stater beats it over the middle. Shy of the first down, though, is Jerron Fairman. A tackle made. Play, and then now he's, he's moving the team. And he converted on the last third down. This one is going to be third and six. Williams in motion. Three-man rush. Brand Stater. Got his man down the sidelines and out of bounds. Jerron Fairman with the catch in front of J.D. Nelson. How great was that? Brandstetter looked like he was going to fake the run. He got outside containment. They came up. He dropped it right in between the corner and the safety with great touch. The question was, did his feet come down? All right, watch Brandstetter. Looks right, looks left, now rolls. Outside containment. They've got to commit. He throws it between the corner and the safety. Right foot is down. Terrific. Out that fine kickoff return by Fernandez. Here's the quick throw outside. This is Fairman. He's got a couple. Thrown ball when the uh, coverage is that tight. That's sure. for sure. So it'll be third and eight now as the play clock runs down. Three-man rush for Oregon. And that's not going to pick up the first down. Fairman's got it. He's out to Grandstater from the shotgun. Fakes to right. Rolls left. Throws. Touchdown Bulldogs. Jerron Fairman with the score. How about that drive? And wide open is Fairman for the touchdown. 14 to 10. Three-man line for Oregon on second and 10. For Branstetter. He throws over the middle. He's got Fairman. And Fairman's out to midfield. Bulldogs have two timeouts. And they use one of them. Patrick Chung makes the tackle. Okay, he's got to be. Gain of one on that play. It's fake now. Outside, it's Fairman with the catch. And Bates with the tackle. Danny, take a look at some of the bottom of the screen here on third and goal from the four. Branstetter in pressure. Phelps got him. He throws. Complete, but not a touchdown. Jerron Fresno State. Pat Hill measured this clock so he could get this play. Three wide receivers at the bottom of the screen. One to the top. Grant Stater. Going to throw to the sidelines. Rodstein with the kickoff. Headed to a Fairman at the six. Across the 25, has an opening, 40, 45 to the 50-yard line. Great return by Jerron Fairman. They'll spot it at the Washington 49 with 2.45 to play. Simple case. You give a guy like Fairman an opportunity to bring it back, you're going to get that kind of return. Good blocking down. Has one-on-one -on -one coverage with Matt Fontaine. And Fontaine's been beaten in the past throughout his Washington career. Pass to Fairman, hit immediately by Fontaine. Well, Fontaine has struggled against the pass, but he is a hitter against anyone who's coming upfield on a run situation. Watch six break this play down. He read it well, and Fairman had no chance. As he turned, Fontaine was waiting for him. The turn and boom. And that's perfect tackling for him with the shoulder pad. No negative plays, no turnovers, and they give it right back to Fresno State. And Hitter going 